Hello, welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick. We're here reporting from Barcelona at Mobile World Congress 2018. And as you can see, it's busy and it's noisy. Nonetheless, we're going to get through this one way or another. I'm talking to Werner Gold, Emerging Solutions Evangelist, Telecommunications Sector, Red Hat, and the Red Hat's the giveaway, Werner. So, Werner, being known as an open source and Linux company, what does Red Hat have to do with the media industry? You know, we see a lot of changes in the media industry momentarily, so the play out infrastructure is changing from traditional cable TV and satellite and terrestrial play out, moving more and more towards internet and IP TV. And this is our playground and our commercial realm that we are working in. So um, we are providing the technical infrastructure with OpenStack and OpenShift being our container platform uh, for the new playout channels. And uh, also with the migration towards more and more video on demand being delivered over the internet as well, these are the things where we provide the, the technical infrastructure in media. There's a lot of angst in the industry about the OTT players and how strong they are. In what way do these OTT players affect the CSPs and the networks? You see, especially when we uh, extend the last miles to higher bandwidth and also the mobile networks towards 5G, which also gives higher bandwidth on the last mile, we have the issues in, in that case that the aggregation networks might be congested and more and more traffic also goes to the, um, to the aggregation networks. And this is where we need to have much more powerful and more flexible content delivery networks that are also being virtualized and new caches can be built at the network edge to host the content there to offload this kind of traffic from, from the aggregation networks. But also um, the, the OTT traffic is competing with live linear TV on the other hand uh, where we need to bring the content very fast uh, to the customers as well. So we see this in, on both sides. We see an increase in video on demand. Uh, we see an increase in the typical OTT traffic, which is based on unicast in foreign networks. But we also see an increase in linear TV, where carriers are uh, moving the content inside of their own networks. Staying with linear TV then, is linear TV programming ready for virtualization yet? Absolutely, and we already have first customers that have virtualized their infrastructure fully um, in, in their head-end infrastructures. And we are at the HP booth here, uh, so this is where we're working with HP um, at uh, Swisscom in Switzerland. They have now more than 100 TV channels that they host on top of OpenStack, fully virtualized, and they're going to virtualize more and more of these channels. And we also see a trend in the industry to even go further towards containers and uh, from, from having uh, that on virtualized VMs, we see that the customers will run in near future uh, all these things on containers. There's some technical development that still needs to be done um, in, the, in the container world, but we're getting there. Good. Final question. So how do you deal with the ever-changing requirements? We see that for, for linear TV, the, the lag and the, um, the delay in, in times for the viewers, that's a challenge, especially on sports TVs. You do not want to be uh, back 30 or 40 seconds when your neighbor is already shouting goal and you still <laughs> don't know what's going on there. And the secret there is multicast deployment. Uh, so you need to have a consistent infrastructure where you can really uh, forward multicast packages uh, towards the edge. And this is exactly what we're doing in Swisscom because they own the whole network there. And uh, so they, they can do multicasting from the origin servers towards uh, the set-top boxes. And this way you can achieve a time lag that's not worse than, uh, let's say, satellite deployments. Okay. Bernard Gold, thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. you.